All right, so if you saw our last video, we just got 25 quail and they're two to three weeks old. We have an idea of the design we're looking for, but other than that, we're just going for it, measuring, cutting, slapping together. That's how we roll. I wasn't filming for a little bit there. I had to charge up my phone. So let's see where we're at here. So I've got the cedar fence boards going all the way across. And then I put some metal roofing on top of those cedar fence boards to make sure that the wind and rain stays out of there because this section is going to be their little house that's all uh, covered in a little box. And then I did the same on the side here. The front is going to have their solid door here and I'll cut that out in a little bit. I need to put in their wall here with uh, their little entrance to their little home. So for the side with the hardware cloth, I'm going to build a frame around where the hardware cloth is on the side and on the top just to secure it down really well. And I'm going to use more of the uh, oak pallet pieces from the propane pallets that I got, empty propane tank pallets. So go up and get a few of those. Now we'll go to the back and take the nails out of these. I've got the inside wall started with their door and I have this piece of plexiglass on top and it's kind of a fogged or smoked plexiglass. I got that from my brother. This door is gonna open from the top and swing down so it's hanging down and out of the way. And what I did is I already cut my line here and then I'm going to screw on my little hinges and uh, then I'll cut the rest of the door out. That way your door is sitting on the hinges perfectly. If you try to cut out the square and then attach a hinge and attach it back in there. It's really a pain in the butt. So if you do it before you cut the door out completely, uh, just lines things up perfectly and works a lot better. All right, so I've got the brackets there, the hinges put on with just a couple screws temporarily here. I'm gonna finish cutting out the door and then we'll see how it swings. Okay, so that worked. And I have, uh, some two by two 
on the inside and that'll help seal off the door from any wind or rain getting in there. Now I think I need to attach this plexiglass roof. I finally finished the quail hutch slash coop uh, last night and then this morning I put on a few finishing touches like these braces and I stole this uh, latch from our little outhouse converted to shed up above and there's nothing really uh, worth anything of value in there so I'll just make a little wood latch for that for now. So what I'm going to do is throw a little paint on this to match the coop color and then I'm going to grab sand from down at the river and I'm going to fill their little little condo there, the little nest area with uh, sand and then it's time to move them in there. I think that's gonna do really nice should be about thick enough so now it's time to get the quail and get them in here and I think the smartest thing to do is to put them back in the house and put them in a little box that I can bring in here and kind of put it inside there so I've been keeping them on the porch during the day so they can get used to being outside and then uh, they sleep in the house in the cabin uh, so been getting them used to that with no heat lamp so they've been doing that for about three days so i think should be safe to get them into the uh, new coop hutch so i'm going to take these guys inside and try to get them into a smaller box Okay, mission accomplished. I wanted to get all of them in the box so I could transfer them all at once because they are springy and uh, quick. Here we go, 25 quail on their way down into their new home. I think what I'll do is move their food and water inside the sandy part, and just let them get used to being out here and then maybe they'll venture out on their own. Okay, maybe that's better. There's one venturing out, so I think they'll eventually go for it and. They just got to get used to their new surroundings. Plus, I just changed that feeder. They haven't had time to even experience that. So they should, uh, should warm up to that once they get over the initial shock of being moved in a box and into a bigger box. Well, thanks for stopping by and uh, checking out the build. If you like this, give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Um, it really helps us out and we really appreciate the support and we'd love to have you along for the ride. So for Almost Homestead, I'm Jay. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm going fishing. Mm -hmm.